Hi guys, I'm back. So it's been a while since I last did this. Um, basically what I'm going to be doing today is going through all the exotic skins part 2. So I did go through them once before but that was only up to Ribbon because that was the only monster out. The latest monster out at that time. So if you want to know where that video is, the link will be in the description of this video. And I've just been shot twice so I'll just need to pause this. So right now the last monster I did finish was Wasri Bomb. So this time we're going to go straight into Snicks uh, Exotic. So uh, it's got this nice little uh, purple-ish shade, which is quite nice. I like this kind of purple. Then we become Serin. And uh, yeah, the, the the leaf on the end of it is a dark shade of purple as well as the uh, mane of the head. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I, I probably didn't want that right, but someone's going to correct me in the comments. And then we've got Sekton right here. The glorious, magnificent thing. Um, yeah, here he goes, this massive purple deity, which uh, just looks amazing. Let's just uh, fly up. Let's just fly around with it for like a couple of seconds. Zoom out. Oh, okay. That was a uh, pretty good flying there, wasn't it? Okay. And uh, uh, fun fact, the elusive of Snake, um, the person actually owns it, one of the devs, uh, her elusive is actually a phoenix, and it looks quite good, obviously. I don't have it, and I think I'd show it in the elusive video. But yeah, okay, so let's continue on with the um, exotic Flora Fluff, right here. Oh no, exotic, oh yeah, exotic, lovely, just looks the same. So we've got exotic Flora Fluff, it looks um, a bit like, uh, it's, it retains the same colour scheme as Elusive Immortal slash Inverted Immortal, in Crimorta does. So yeah, here it is, uh, with this nice, let's do a 360 angle of this. Okay, maybe not that, a bit too close there. And on to the next monster, Chamber. I believe it is Chamber, right? Chamber, Chamber. Yes. Okay. Okay, let's get out. Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. Wait, is this the exotic? I swear. Okay, I didn't remember even the exotic even being. I don't think I've ever looked at this. So there we go. Here's the exotic of Chamber. It looks quite cool. It's like little golden looking green bars. I don't know why I've never seen this. It's, it's weird to me. Because I've I've seen it before, but I didn't I didn't know what it was. I don't know why I thought it was inverted or something. But there is a little three sixty view, and on to the next one. Lixic. Oh, let's get out of that one. Exotic Lixic. So it's kind of this uh, kind of uh, golden brownish color, I guess. It's okay. Then let's turn into not Miskrilix. Pro Prolix. Yeah, Prolix. And. It's obviously going to retain the same colour scheme throughout the... Oh, okay, the nice blue. I don't know why I haven't seen these exotics. Either I don't remember them or I've actually never seen them. So we go 36012, which is being blocked by a sofa or couch for you other people, Americans. And then uh, we finally get Miskrelix. Let's see what this little cat looks like. Okay, a oh, big cat, should I say, with this uh, double-edged katana. And, uh, yeah. Oh, the claws are blue then, that's where. Now they're not blue. Okay, interesting. Oh, sorry about that little pause. Right, and then we move on to... Cremata. Oh, oh, hello there. Did, did, oh, I don't really like this exotic, because it's just like a, a lightened-up version of um, Cremata. Could have put a little effort into it. I guess the elusive was the basic main thing hyped up for it. And uh, let's go to Outlander. And you obviously see the same, it's just a liar color scheme. It does look quite nice, but like, you know, exotic terms, you know, level 100, during that time. You know, I wouldn't say it's that worth it for an exotic. Even Obviously, it's no effort involved, but you know, time. So then uh, we move on to Lucifice. Oh, cor oh corrosive skin, don't mind me. Exotic, exotic Lucifice has like the same color scheme as the uh, exotic snake. Which I actually love about it. It's just kind of, it's just kind of dark, edgy, almost kind of shadowish vibes, like from Sonic the Hedgehog. Just the the edginess of it. it looks quite cool. And I love the, I just love the purple and black combination. I guess that's that's something that really gets me. And uh, onwards with whoever is next. Solar Rain. Okay, uh, the first actual exotic to have red in it besides Faraville. Okay, to be to one of the main colors to be red. I'm gonna move away from this. Uh, this battle scene that's going on over there. Show you the beauty of it. I saw an inverted him and it looks absolutely beautiful. 
because it's like blue and the someone called it lunar rain which is actually quite a nice name for it so here we go and then uh, the exotic new monster of course minart and here we go okay so obviously this is a, a bit grayer than the um, uh, normal one is which I put the exotic one right I'm not an idiot okay then we evolve to Sperish I love the cover art that Blue's made by the way the artist uh, her name is Blue Mochi yeah okay this is the exotic you see the black fin at the top and uh, obviously the more grey I'm not sure if the eyes changed I haven't seen this long enough to know what colour the eye is and then we get to half in and bam black and red this is another main red one which I actually love I wonder what the inverted of this looks like I feel like the inverted might have collected the main. I'm not collecting these because I've got 99 of these already. These useless entropy orbs. Right. Uh, so, the, all the all the exotics. Part 2. Only 5 minute video. But, you know. Uh, next monster coming out is actually the Water Titan. Whose name I escapes me. Poor said it. Oh, I have a video idea that's just sparked into my brain. Uh, yeah, so I'll be back. And see ya.